No. Hey, Aunt Grace. What do you want? You and me, we got some things to get straight. You ain't acting very friendly. That surprises you? Well, can I get a hello or something? How'd you find me? Your friend Chloe. Why, you hiding now? From trouble, yeah. Well, it's nice to see you too. What did you expect from me? Well, I don't know, not very much. Maybe a, hey, how you doing, Noah? Maybe a smile, something. I don't smile since they buried my son. You still got family. Family? You call yourself family? You're no more family to me than, than the junkies in Decatur Park. A pile of garbage I step over in the street is more family to me than you are. You ain't got no call to talk like that. I got no call to talk to you, period. You're the reason my Tony's gone. I ain't the one who told him to stick a gun in a cop's face. You taught him enough to make him wind up cold on a slab. Now get out of my face. Shut up. Get out of my room. I, I know you Shut enough. up. Don't you diss me, Grace. Same old Noah. Ain't nobody home but you and me. Same tough. That old redhead bag split a while ago. Now you show some respect. Same scared little boy. Only bigger. I wasn't fooled then. And I'm not fooled now. You just clear out and leave me alone. I ain't going no place till I set you straight. Go on, hit me. Beat the life out of me. Put me out of my misery. I'm half dead anyway. Didn't nobody come here to hurt you. What did you come here for? To shut your lying mouth. What you want to badmouth me to Terrence Fry? What'd you do that for? I don't have my son anymore. I barely got a reason to breathe. All I got left is a God's honest truth, and I will tell it to anybody anytime I please. What truth? You can't deal with the truth, Grace. You never could. That's why you're making a fairy tale telling him to Terrence Fry. That boy is too stupid to know better. Terrence Fry is what Tony would be if you hadn't dragged him down. You can't really believe that. I raised my boy to be somebody. To hold his head up and be proud. Proud of what? What, his little piece of the Brewster projects? He could have done something with his life. I taught him to give his best. I taught him... What'd you know to teach him? How to get respect in this world? How to be a big success? Wake up, Grace! You couldn't get your damn self out of projects. You couldn't even keep a man. But I don't... That's right, you hear me? You ain't no kind of role model, so get down off your high horse. You only claim the fame is snatching a cop's kid. I was out of my mind with who? Oh, yeah, we were all out of our mind with something. You got your reasons, I got mine. Still, you don't see me stealing nobody's baby. You stole mine! And you're still nuts! You taught him to lie and steal, cut school and take drugs. I you taught him nothing! Tony was two steps ahead of me. You lie. We learn the same moves at the same time. The same punks beat the spit out of both of us. The same dealer turned us on to the same junk. Tony wasn't anything like you. No, I knew how to hang by myself. Tony couldn't stand to be alone. And he wanted to impress all the wrong people. That's why he started hanging with the scum. I took him to church every Sunday. Until he was old enough to say no. I taught him to love the Lord. But the Lord didn't love him back. And Tony was smart enough to know that. He just wasn't smart enough to let it roll off. I told him, I told him to let it all go, but he couldn't. You were a bad influence. Well, you was clapping your hands in that choir. Tony was wilding up and down the streets. And you know as well as I do, your son didn't do nothing halfway. I had a blade, he had two of them. I had a piece, he had a drawer full. A bald face. I was smoking a little bit of reefer, he was smoking that crack. Liar! He was a junkie! I was cool with the gangs. You had to be. But didn't nobody tell Tony to go out and join one? You, you are the hoodlum, not my boy. No, not your boy. Not little Tony with the paint box and the knock-knock jokes. The cockatoo kid. Yeah, I was there, remember? Pictures of birds all over his room. 
<laughs> he wanted a cockatoo so bad. And what'd you call him? Rich people's canaries. So he said he was gonna be rich. I ain't talking about the little boy with the gap tooth grin on Grace. That kid died a long time ago. You never had a chance. You ruined him. You got them all confused. Little boys don't last where we come from. If you dodge the bullet, you get sliced up for smiling wrong. Or wearing the right shoes on the wrong day. Or maybe you OD trying to feel like somebody. If you're lucky, you end up like me. You, you no count good. I'm alive! I know how to ride it out and keep on stepping. If you come up like me and Tony, ain't nobody's baby for long. I begged him. I begged him to stay out of trouble. It's easier to sprout wings and fly. But Tony drew birds, but he couldn't be one. The closest he ever came to flying was getting on that pipe. And you, with all your prayers, all your commandments, it was worse than lame. It was lies. How the hell are you going to stay off the streets when the streets all you got? How are you going to stay out of trouble when trouble's all that's there? Same smooth-talking liar. Well, I'm going to lie to you, Aunt Grace. You'd lie to the Lord Almighty. You and your God talk. You've been lying to yourself your whole life. If there is a God, he couldn't care less about you. Shut your mouth. Who have you got, Grace? Who even knows you're alive? Daddy's gone. Tony's gone. All you got in this town is me. Well, I got less than nothing. Because you're trash. Who are you talking to? Somebody you made up in your head, not me. This is Noah. You know me, Aunt Grace. Not anymore. The muffin man? Stop. Corn muffins with walnuts. You're the only one ever made them like that. People laughed till they tried them. Used to hand them out like blue ribbons. One for taking out the garbage, two for going to the store. I said stop! I got a right to remember my own life! Well, then you remember it someplace else. Who was it who carried your stuff down to Sudsies every Friday night? Tony was always glued to that show, but I was happy to go you down... Be quiet. And he'd drag himself down there, just as we were getting the last load folded. Beg you to stop by McGregor's and buy him a chili dog. Oh, please, Mama, I promise... Just get me. out! Why? Why? Okay? Because Tony's dead and you're alive and it ought to be the other way around. I can take it! He couldn't! I can deal! He didn't know how to! What the hell are you doing here? Burning the house down, can't you tell? Is he bothering you? Junior, I'll rip your tongue out and ram it down your throat. It doesn't scare me. Get out. Make me. No, Go stop it. Bring it on, big boy. Bring stop it. it. You Come on. Sorry, fool. You want to fight, you do it in your own house. I don't want to see another fight as long as I live. I've seen enough blood to fill a river. And I can't take it anymore. I won't. What do you want me to do? What can you do, Terrence? I'll throw him out of here if that's what you want. I'll, I'll put you didn't in you trip. hear what I said? Now, the last thing I need is for my landlady to come walking into your mess. Now, if I have to sit in this room from now until the judgment day, I'm going to live out the rest of my life in peace. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I just came by to see if I could help you unpack. She don't need your help. She got family. What you gonna do with help from a... Where a, a, was my so-called family when I was in the hospital? Terrence came to visit me a lot. Where was my so-called family when they let me out? Terrence was the one who came and picked me up. Now, you didn't ask me what you could do for me, Noah, but I'm gonna tell you just the same. You can leave. Now. Don't. I don't want to hear it. 
You don't know the first thing about Noah, so you just leave it alone. Come on, Mrs. K. I heard him screaming all the way down the street. Noah's got a lot to scream about. Even he doesn't know it all. I, I don't get it. No, you don't. But you had a mama looking after you, and Noah was on his own. What do you mean he was on He didn't have any parents? Not so it counted. My brother Warren, he was a sweet man. God rest his soul, but he'd have sold his soul to the devil for a good-looking woman. And his bad luck, he found one. And it turned his life inside out. Is that Noah's mother? Rose. Lady Rose, everybody called her, but for the life of me, I don't know why. Had the face of an angel and eyes like a cat. Yellow eyes. <laughs> Warren couldn't get over them. But I knew from day one she was trouble. Well, what happened? Lady Rose fancied herself the new Billie Holiday. She put a white flower behind her ear and tried to sing. Could she? I get my singing in church. But Lady Rose, now she got a job at the Blue Smoke Bar. Not as a singer, mind you, as a waitress. The idea was that her time would come. And her time came plenty, but it had nothing to do with singing. And I never was convinced that it was Warren's child. The poor baby spent its life on a bar stool, drinking cola and listening to Lord knows what. His mama hardly ever even looked at him. Not that she ever looked at anything anybody could see. Her yellow eyes were always fixed on something out there. Too far off for you to, to take it in. Oh, your brother Warren, how did he die? Blood pressure. He was 32 years old. Never did take care of himself. Her staying up late waiting on Lady Rose didn't help. After he died, her drinking got worse, and the men became more plentiful, low lives, every one of them. But Lady Yellow Eyes wasn't looking too close. And then the drugs, and that was it, rock bottom. Noah was on his own from the time he was 10. If I didn't clean his clothes, he went to school dirty. If I didn't feed him, he lived on potato chips. Yeah, but he had you, though, right? Yeah, when he wanted. Ten's more like 20 in the Brewster Projects. Noah came and went like a tomcat. He was just too wild to keep locked up for long. But when he did come by, he would light up the house. <laughs> hey, Auntie Grace, what's for dinner? Come on, Auntie Grace, let's go down to Sudsy's. He had a laugh on him would rock the walls. And he could charm you into the middle of next week. All that laughter. Where'd it go? It was like my boy. Died too soon.